once you have your camera set up on uh, the PSS software on your PC or laptop, uh, basically what you want to do then at that point is you want to investigate the recording options, okay? So uh, you should, uh, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing, you should enlarge this video as much as you can on your screen and set it to the highest resolution because we're going to be looking at some um, fairly small symbols here. So it mightn't show up by default on you know a lower resolution or on a smaller um, smaller screen setting okay so these are the symbols we're going to be looking at up along here okay so they're in particular they're over the video or over the camera that we have set up already but I just show you here hopefully it's a bit clearer the ones we're looking at and when you put your mouse over them then you know you can see what they're for it gives you little uh, prompts okay so what we're going to do now is a live record so this is just basically doing it manually so you use this little symbol here for the camera and you just press it and you can see the prompt here that it's starting to record so I'm just gonna let it record there for a few seconds and just while it's doing that um, I'm just going to show you a couple of other things that um, for example uh, you can see on your cameras that you've set up the IP of the camera the kilobits per second um, the frame rate things like this okay and when you're recording the other thing to note would be down below here you have video quality when you click on that you can do low quality or high quality so obviously um the lower high quality will determine obviously if the picture you know if it's very good or is it just absolutely out of this world sort of thing uh, ip cameras are you know hd cameras by default so the picture is never going to be that bad so when you double click on it there i mean th that's low quality there and you can see that's very very clear okay so why you might want to set it to low is maybe it won't interfere with your network as much it won't be as heavy on it uh, and also it mightn't um it won't take up as much space on your hard drive on a pc um so that would be basically it so i'm just going to kill that recording now uh, just by clicking on the camera symbol again and it's stopped recording so we have recorded that now and we want to play it back so where do we go so we go to this folder here called c slash pss by default when you install the pss software it'll create this folder on the c drive uh, called pss okay so i'm doing this on a windows xp system but it should be very similar on windows vista windows 7 windows 8 things like this so in this pss folder you have two folders here one called pick and one called record so pick would be for like pictures which would be like you know if you took a snapshot of a particular incident something like that and um, but record is what we're more interested here so we'll just go in there and you can see I've just been playing with it there earlier and it breaks it into little chunks so the one the latest one is the one we we're after which is 106 and you can see the date on it in this folder and you go in there so what we're going to do is we want to play that back and all we have to do simply is double click on it and there it is playing back so I mean couldn't be simpler than that basically so I'm just going to kill that now so you have the gist of that and we'll go back into PSS now okay so that's all well and good if you know you want to set a manual record um, but it wouldn't be very convenient and it'd be a bit labor intensive if you had to do that every time you wanted to record something so uh, a much better way of doing it is to set up a scheduled record scheduled record okay and to do this you go into config manager and what you want to do is you want to go into this thing called record plan config so it'll pull up this window here and what you can see is the first thing is the pack time so what that means is basically the chunks it's going to recording is it 15 30 45 or 60 minutes so i'm just going to leave it at 15 minutes by default so what you want to do then is go into edit schedule template okay so by default you'll have two here you'll have an empty template and a full day template so what we want to do is i mean if you just want to record every minute of every day you can just use the full day template but you know you might want to do this so um what we're going to do is edit the empty template so we have that selected and we're going to change this to weekdays okay so <clears throat> what you want to do now is set the times so just for argument's sake you're working in an office and you know everyone comes in at eight o'clock and goes home at five so what you want to do is you want to record from five o'clock up to 23 59 sorry 2359 okay and then from zero zero hours to eight in the morning okay so what we want to do then is add that so now on weekdays between the hours of 1700 hours and 2359 and zero zero uh you know uh, 12 a.m up to um 
8 in the morning it's going to record uh, this is the schedule we've set okay now by co I've just called it weekdays for handiness sake for a step we're going to do in a minute just by calling it weekdays doesn't mean it's going to actually work on weekdays okay so just note that and the full day template what I'm going to do here is for weekends I'm going to use a full day template so we'll say for argument's sake no one's in your office at the weekend you want to record all the time so we're just going to use a full day template so you can see the sentence there that it records between 00, 00 and 23.59 okay so just a point to note that you have to do it like this as in 23.59 you can't uh, we'll just go back to weekday I couldn't say record between 1700 hours start at that and then end at eight all on the one line because you can't get it to end before it starts if you know what I mean um, so you have to set it in two in two chunks okay so we'll just click OK there and that's and that's fair enough so what we want to do then is we want to add so we want to add a device which is this camera that we've already set up which is 192.168.1.175 which you can see up here uh, we want to set the channel which is IPC which we can see over here and what we want to do then is uh, <coughs> excuse me we want to set weekdays okay so weekdays we want to add to Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and we want to do the full day template on Sunday and Saturday and we want to just go okay and that's basically it okay so to get out of that then all you have to do is press OK so you can see there you're prompted the record plan config was successfully saved so that's all well and good but um, nothing's actually going to happen now okay until you do the next step so what you want to do is go into con tools and then what you want to do is click begin record plan simple as so when that time kicks in on a weekday or weekend my um, IP camera the feed from it will start recording onto my PC or laptop okay so just in summary there you know if you had a standalone PC to do this or laptop or something like that that'd probably be okay you probably especially if it's going to be during working hours it's not a great idea to have this set up uh, you know on a PC that someone's using and stuff because you know it's going to be fairly heavy on it and also if you're doing it over the network although again this would apply to NVRs or if you were using an NAS device or something like this it's still going to be heavy enough on your network so but you know um, these are just things to consider so that's basically it um, how you set up um, live recording and scheduled recording on uh, the PSS software on your PC or laptop so you can record um, your IP cameras